We have made it to the ruins of Ekbalam. When you come in, you've got to buy two different tickets. You have to buy your ticket and then you have to buy your government fee. But here at Ekbalam, nicely, you can buy them both of that little window. We're going to go to the Snoke a little later after we see the ruins. Ruins. Runs. Oh, you need a redneck now. <laughs> You're going to see some runs. So that is a big old Tom Turkey right here at the ruins of Ekbalam. And he looks like he does not want me to get any closer. So I'm going to get a little closer. Look at that dude. When he attacks me and I scream and run away like a little kid, you can all laugh. Oh, look at that guy up there. Tree guanas. And that looks like something we can climb. So we have the almost the entire site of Ekbalam pretty much to ourselves. <laughs> on the spot and then I'm like, uh, one plus one is two. <laughs> uh, it's so nice here today. Oh, I didn't do an intro this morning. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Buenos dias, good morgen and hello. Mike and Katrina are hiding over there being camera shy, but don't worry. We'll film them more while they're sleeping. <laughs> this site is immaculate and beautiful. My favorite word. And it's cloudy, so it's cool. Okay, that breeze feels good. I know. Now we know that Kate likes this place because there is an iguana. There's 106 steps to the top. It's a challenge. We gotta take it. No time like the present. Look at that. Hello, Iguana Rana. Hello, Iguana. How are you? Katie wishes you a long and happy life. You're welcome. This site is amazing. And look at these two. Hi. We're getting used to this being I'm going to slow mo you guys. Mike. Chica. Then they'll watch the video and be like, why aren't we in it? He recorded us all damn day. Yeah. Here we are on the second top. You see over there, that's that big awesome giant one. Wow. Miss Katrina, what do you think your first mine ruins? Miguel? It's the coolest thing I've ever been on. It's very tiring. <laughs> Alright, that one was way easier than that one over there. This is a really awesome little ruin area. Beautiful. Yeah, it's, de it's definitely. Uh, pretty impressed with the renovation efforts they're making. How would you compare this to Chichen Itza? Oh, it doesn't compare. They're just wall to wall tourists. Like us? Yeah. And vendors and it's just here is more authentic. Yeah, the lack of vendors. The lack of vendors. There's a couple out front, there's some guides offered, but it's not intrusive at all. So we're gonna go to Cenote Ishkanche. It's a one and a half kilometer walk down this trail. It's fifty pesos per person. So we'll catch you on the end of the road. That sign, if you look at it, says the cenote is one meter. One meter. That's right there. Are we there yet? So Mike and Katrina said they wanted to do stuff their kids hadn't done. 
So I don't think Serena and Alyssa have hiked 1.5 kilometers through the Yucatan to get to the Chanche. I'll put it down below. Sonote is Chanche. Well, there we have it. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, definitely have it. That's right. Eat your hearts out, kids. They're passing you up. And getting sunburned. Check this place out. Apparently they got a zip line too because I just heard somebody scream. There's a zip line. There's the cenote. Wow. Look at all the swallows. Golondrinas. Hello. We'll be taking the stairs down. <laughs> Wise choice. Oh, it's right there. Oh, wow. Look at that bird. What is that? Look at that. That's gorgeous. Super cool. Hello. Very cool. Oh, you're videoing. I can't get used to this. <laughs> you guys are going the long way. I'm going the short way. That's much better. Amiga! Katrina, Katrina, Katrina. And the guy's stuck on a rope. So all along the roof of this cavern are swallow nests. because there's not a lot of people in it and it's peaceful but you can sit and watch the swallows and all the birds so let's start up there with towards the top of my favorites all right that was awesome we just came up that way which is every bit as steep as it looks if not more so we went down originally over there the the sissy way Definitely worth the 50 pesos. All right, we're gonna try to see if we can see these blue birds. They are gorgeous. I'll look up later what they are. All right, we're back on the kilometer and a half walk back to the van. Go get some lunch. Oh wait, I already said that. There's the van. We made it back safe. Barely. So everybody's macking on this smoked meat. The little village we just went through Very good. is apparently famous for smoked meats. Reviews? Excellent. Excellent day. Excellent, excellent day. Fabulous. So we're in the colonial city of Valladolid. What's he taking a picture of? Oh yeah, that. <laughs> we are going to rustle up some street food. Yes. We are determined to get these guys sick before they leave. Yes. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Only the best street food. We're taking them here to El Tigre Taqueria. We had tacos here last time and they were the best tacos I've had in all of Yucatan. Tres. Tres. You good? Oh, Alright, let's see how Mike likes these. Wow, I just need a couple of rounds. Gracias. These are polcanes. It's a masa bread. So it's made out of corn. And we got cochinita pibil, habanero sauce. Oh my god. Muy bien. <laughs> Muy rico. Oh my god, that's good. Wow. That's even better than the tacos. It's like shoving cochinita pibil and cornbread. It's fantastic. This is right on the main plaza in Valladolid, right at the tourist information office. You can see they've got all sorts of great little stands set up out here. The colonial charm of Valladolid is definitely hard to beat. So we've got actually Cenote Shkiken and Cenote Samula. Hey, we got steps going down. Always a good sign when you're looking for the Mayan underworld. 
This is para el otro semestre. Okay, gracias. I think we're going down there. To the underworld we go. It smells all cavey. <laughs> oh wow, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. We can even hear bats. On episode one of Spelunking and Flip Flops, <laughs> I fall and die. I don't think there'll be an episode two. Out we go. So we're making our way to Cenote. Samula. Samula. Samula, Samula. We got people following us. They've been following us for a while. It's kind of creeping me out. <laughs> That's what I do, creep people out. <laughs> Friend visitor. Walk easily. Please do not do dumb stuff. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous one, wow. We look right up there. There's little statues. This nice lady behind me came up and showed me. Those are called Aleutian. They are the guardians of the cenote. Much like Rocket and Star-Lord, the guardians of the galaxy. <laughs> these places are just absolutely incredible. Um, I'm really floored. We've been to quite a few cenotes and these are, I would say, the most beautiful ones we've been to yet. Mike got his feet cleaned by giant freaky black catfish. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say this place was beautiful. Um, I need to say a different word I know. Uh... Probably not cenote salami. Not entirely sure. Wait, it's cenote samula. That was awesome. Definitely recommend this park, even though I usually don't like the touristy ones. This one is fantastic. Now we're gonna go back to the van. Probably go find some food. What do you think? Find some food? Oh, I could eat. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I could definitely eat. So as you notice, we're sitting in Puerto Juarez, getting ready to head back over there, over there, like right there. Uh oh, you're pointing to Isla Mujeres. After an awesome day, we ate well. We uh, and we're gonna head back over to the island. So this will be good night and farewell on this day. Bye, guys.